So although the the water, the ocean is quite deep in the Arctic Ocean, the surface salinity is so low that it actually supports the existence of sea ice, floating sea ice. And here are some data from 35 years ago, which shows the ice coverage in the Arctic, based on satellite data from 1974 to 1976. And the thick line shows the extent of sea, uh, of sea ice in late winter. The thin line is the ice extent in late summer. Okay, so you can see again the features. You can also see the, the outflow of cold water and sea ice into the Greenland Sea. Okay, I activate the mouse. This again is the connection to the Greenland as shown here. And you can see this tongue of ice coming up in the Greenland Sea. Okay. So it is a continent free ocean region which supports the existence of sea ice. Why is that so important? Well, the key roles of sea ice in the, in the climate system are one important factor is the ice albedo effect, reflects solar radiation, okay, and keeps the region cold. It's the reflection of, because you have a white surface. Okay, that's one big aspect. The second big aspect is actually that the ice is in insulation. Okay, it actually limits the exchange of gases from the atmosphere into the ocean. Maybe I should add a third one. Indeed, you also have a transport path, some marine, uh, some species. You know, like polar bears. So, okay, so you, because you can walk. On. All right, so just some more modern data, and you all heard about it, is actually that the uh, ice coverage of the Arctic Ocean is actually shrinking. Again, this is because of the global warming. And what's shown here is our two different times so one are the extents in 1999 and 2000s which is in the upper top uh, in the top left corner and you can see again the seasonal extent okay, you have autumn and spring you get sort of the minimum and the maximum extent and you can see one 10 years later in 2009 2010 and just from flipping from left to right Okay, so in sort of the spring, you don't see much, much change, but have a look at the autumn coverage. You flip back and forth, you can actually see a significant change of the ice coverage here in the north uh, uh, western part. Okay, so there are dramatic changes in the Arctic sea ice. Okay, and that can have important implications on, on a variety of, of features like air sea gas exchange, like the migration of species, and like most importantly on the formation of dense water in the Greenland Sea. All right.